Ahoy from the Bahamas! We're Madison and Ivan, and today's my adventure is exploring the great island of Bimini. Today we woke up in beautiful Bimini. It is my first time in the Bahamas. I'm so excited. I just took the lead on Madison with my 18th country. <laughs> that is true. Woo! We've been tied at 17 countries, but the Bahamas is a repeat for me. I was actually here a few years ago, but I was here for work. I was working on a reality TV show. Um, so now I'm pretty excited because I literally, I didn't have a single day off when I was here. So finally getting to explore the beautiful beaches, the beautiful, beautiful beautiful culture and eat as much traditional Bahaman food as we can. I cannot wait. The water is so beautiful. We got our snorkeling gear set up. We are ready to go. And we are here, we are cruising with Virgin Voyages. So one of the main places we're gonna be exploring today is the Virgin Voyages Beach Club. An exclusive beach club that is currently a part of all Scarlet Lady itineraries. If you got last week's video, we talked about this incredible new cruise line that sails kid-free so that you get to be the kids. We took you on a tour of the ship and tried every single one of the over 20 free dining options on board to determine if Virgin Voyages truly is the ultimate foodie cruise line. Today, we're gonna talk about all of the amazing activities offered both on board the Scarlet Lady from the shows to the exercise classes and off board at the exclusive beach club. Uh, let's go, Shell, yeah. <laughs> let's start from the very beginning, the very best place to start. The first big activity on board is the Sail Away Party, featuring free sparkling wine, a DJ, dancing, and an epic view of Miami. Also an up close view of a not kid free cruise line. This started us off very happy that we chose to cruise with Virgin. Now let's talk business. Show business. There are five featured types of shows here on board. And I had read amazing things about Never Sleep Alone online, so we went there on the first night and it just wasn't for us. To me, it felt like an awkward improv class and had me worried about what the rest of the shows would be like on board. We also missed the show untitled dance show party thing to be there. And I'm sad that we did because they never offered it again while we were on board. The next night we went to Ships in the Night and the dancing and singing were great. It definitely restored my faith in Scarlet Lady shows. And from there, the next night we went to Dual Reality, which was completely incredible, period. But when you think about the fact that all of this is happening on a moving boat, absolutely insane. The final type of show on board are Phantom Folk Tales, fun musical pop-ups that happen all over the boat. But our favorite of these was actually at Bimini Beach Club, so we will show you more on them later. Hands down, one of the most entertaining and fun things we went to on board was Cocktails with the Diva. We only made it to part two because we were trying to fit so many things into our time on board, so we had to sign up for Bingo hosted by the Diva because we just needed more. The Diva, aka Carlos the Uber driver, is absolutely hilarious, and next time we cruise with Virgin, attending all activities with the Diva will be one of our top priorities. One of the top things we did on the cruise was visit the spa. When you book your cruise, you get a referral code, and when you refer a friend, you get Sailor Loot, money to be spent on board. When we got Zach to come aboard with us, the Sailor Loot was $200 a piece. So we decided to spend some of that money treating ourselves to a spa day. It costs $40 for three hours, and you get access to the steam room, mud room, salt room, sauna, hot tubs, cold tubs, and more. It was so fun and super relaxing, other than when we decided to do the polar bear plunge from the sauna into the cold tub. Some other fun activities on board were the pajama party, 
the workout classes, we went to the 90s boy band dance class, and the 2000s VHS tape workout, and loved them both. But honestly, probably the greatest workout of them all was Scarlet Night, the ship's biggest party. The Bahamas! The next morning, it was time to explore Bimini. After getting off the ship, it is a quick golf cart ride to the beach club. This is our first time ever going to a cruise line's private beach or island, so we really just had no idea what to expect. But it was actually quite fun and the water is so beautiful. Hey, look, there's our cruise ship. Yeah. The food is all inclusive, but we are so excited that they are serving up some local cuisine. It is super nice to be able to get a taste of the Bahamas without having to leave the relaxation of the beach club. This Caribbean chicken coconut curry gives me like Indian food vibes, but that makes sense. Probably a lot of trade, a lot of influence there. Very spicy, good amount of turmeric in there. It's delicious. There was a fun floaty party going on at the pool with the DJ, but of course Ivan needs a post-lunch nap before we dive into some snorkeling. Woo, 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 woo. Look what I found! A cock shell. <laughs> Hello? Bow down before me. As far as snorkeling goes, we really just saw a bunch of tiny fish and some shells. But it's always fun to just take a moment to wear goggles and appreciate the beautiful clear water. Next we headed to the fisherman's village on property to see if there was anything cool going on there. But turns out it's really just a shopping center so we headed back to hit the pool. <laughs> Before we left, we had to meet up with Zach's lizard friend for a second lunch and try out the evening menu, complete with delicious ribs. The 
last event really on the cruise itinerary was the Bimini Bonfire and musical performance. The vibe was so fun and chill. It took me back to my days working at summer camp and I absolutely loved it. And with that, our time in Bimini was coming to a close. And so was our time on the cruise, and so was our time in this video. Everything's wrapping up at once. But before we disembark, a thoughtful moment with Ivan. Matt and I, you know, most of our travels, kind of rough and tough, looking for holes in the wall, uh, kind of balling on a budget. And every now and then, it really is nice to treat yourself, be pampered a little. <laughs> Spent three hours at a spa. <laughs> you let someone else make you full service breakfast with multiple choices instead of cereal and milk. <laughs> okay, we're gonna grab all the bags. Oh, we got a whole hour! With one hour left on board, we had to squeeze in a quick bathroom tour of what I think might be my favorite bathroom view in the entire world. Like, can you believe this? Absolutely incredible. It feels so weird to be leaving this place that was our home for the past five days. Living this all-inclusive food and activities lifestyle is definitely something you can get pretty used to very quickly. We had an absolutely incredible time cruising with Virgin Voyages, from the food to the activities to the overall vibe of the cruise line. It was such a great combination of exciting and relaxing, and we're already ready to book with Virgin again. In next week's video, we're going to take you along with us for our Costa Maya excursion. None of the offerings through the cruise line gave us everything we wanted to do, so we booked through a third party and ended up on an epic private tour. Thank you so much for joining us for this mad venture. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, join us on the next one. And until then, remember to live your own mad venture.